Ah, geek out! Hi, and welcome to another episode of Guys I Guess Don't Die in Toilets, a lethal weapon retrospective. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Guess who's back? <laughs> I missed that so much. <laughs> oh, boy. That's right. We're back. Uh, I'm bringing back Mr. Lethal Weapon 4. Hello. Mr. Christopher. Uh, what's going on? Hey, man. Thanks for uh, coming back to the Lethal Weapon Cave. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming over and watching it with me. Yeah, so if you guys weren't aware, you weren't in the know, um, I did a uh, Lethal Weapon podcast called Guys Like Us Don't Die in Toilets, um, and we talked about the first four films um, and had a good time doing it. And you, and you can easily find those uh, episodes on our uh, on the website. The, yes. Uh, there's a link to it on our iTunes thing, but it's libsyn. dot com slash geekoutshow. There you go. And then there's a thing you just click on for a uh, lethal weapon, whatever it is. Guys, I guess I'm dying toilets. Boom. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, so we, uh, you know, I had uh, Kevin, Mike, Sam, and Chris on. Um, I wish we could have had all of them in here for it, but uh, we all are busy guys with jobs, and it's eleven twenty at night. Yeah. <laughs> so and, and I just figured out that it was premiering like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't. I couldn't remember when it was premiering, and I had recorded a, a, a kiss my podcast earlier tonight, and so uh, we got I had just enough time to kind of squeeze in the episode. We wanted to at least do the premiere. You know, honestly, if if I you know had unlimited time here, um, and I could just sit and watch TV all day. Um, and we had unlimited bandwidth. Who knows? Maybe I would do uh, just the uh, you know the first season every episode. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But um, we're not. I mean, this is going to be pretty much just a one time thing. Um, you know, I I will say I, I I'm going to check out the second episode. Um, you know, but uh, you know, I just we don't have time to do a to you know do episode uh, every episode yeah. for this, the, the Lethal Weapon TV <laughs> show is what we're talking about. Yeah, um, just premiered today, and um, it's. I don't know. You know, I remember when 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 the trailer first dropped. Um, I had a couple notifications from people uh, mm-hmm. let me know about it. Everyone and, was like, "Oh, I know Jake needs." Yeah, to know. and you know, I, I watched the trailer and I did my. You know, I I I don't. I never try to be that guy that's like, "Oh, you know, this is going to be nothing like the original," or you know, and at least give it a chance. You know, that's that's what this whole sit down that Chris and I did was. You know, give it a chance here. Let's let's see what it's got to offer. And I feel like there were some moments we liked in it, yeah. and some moments we legitimately laughed in. Yeah, um, there were there was some legitimate good stuff. You know, in it. and m- my big thing is uh, it it's it's a, it's rushed. You know, um, you know, so much of what made the first Lethal Weapon so great in the series, uh, and as well as the chemistry. I feel like the two actors have, you know, pretty pretty fine chemistry with them, you know with each other. But um, the, my biggest thing for me right off the bat is that Riggs seems like. He's and, and and Mel Gibson Riggs is very cocky, but like when we were first introduced to the tragic side of Riggs, he's a man with a death wish, and it's not fun for him. Mm-hmm. You know, like he does say the job is what keeps him from doing it, mm-hmm. which I thought he was going to say at the end of this episode. You know, um, that would have been nice. Yeah, I do like. I, it was a nice touch at the end of this episode. We're going to be all over the place, by the way. Um, it's a nice touch of the episode. You know, he says he doesn't kill himself because Mart uh, 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 Raj would be ashamed of him. But Chris and I turned to each other and we're like, they just met. You know, like it, it was like twenty four hours because yeah. they they have any, they 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 get put together on this on this um, to do this case, for, um, and within twenty four hours they're like you're gonna we're gonna reassign you guys because yeah. you're causing problems, and they wanted to be at first uh, reassigned, and so there's like this whole relationship crammed in this first episode where they don't have any time like to see like the real struggle there. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like I, you know, granted. This is assuming it's you know it gets the full season order. I don't know if it did or not. Um, but you know, yeah, that would have been good, something smart for us to research yeah, before. Yeah, but recording. to <laughs> but to see that whole stretch of like them earn to get that relationship. Yeah. You know, granted the movie did it in two hours, but like you know, this is you know forty some minutes, yeah. and I don't know. I was gonna say I agree with you that they have a pretty good chemistry, but the the, the problem with that is that they have like an episode three chemistry. You know, they don't have an episode yeah. one chemistry. Yeah, uh, like they. Uh yeah they've they they've just met each other at best forty eight hours yeah uh but but uh but I sorry Eddie Murphy yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh another forty eight hours and Nick Nolte uh uh but uh but yeah so like at best you know it's like a day or two and they're already they're already like cracking jokes and uh you know stuff like that and that that was something that threw me off right away that Murtaugh in this uh Damon Wayans uh-huh. senior. Uh, is like 
like a like a, a a very fun character yeah and like and and i'm not and i'm i uh, much like you you know not wanting to jump on and be like oh it sucks because it's not the original like i am the last person to say it has to be the exact same yeah with the original but like i was just kind of like oh that's a different personality well, it almost, like it threw me off it almost first. you know with Riggs and Murtaugh, it's the straight man and the not the not necessarily the funny man like mm-hmm. gibson has that charisma and that charm but he is the stooge but yeah uh-huh. and he yeah uh-huh. that's right there you go <laughs> uh it's canon but you know <laughs> but you know i don't know like again the the mel gibson lethal weapon you know original lethal weapon Riggs is very tortured and we see like an interesting thing about this episode is we see the death of Riggs' wife yeah. in this. We see that. We never see that in the movies. We, you know, Of course, it's something that they talk about, and it affects Riggs, obviously, in a very personal and tragic way. And also, they throw in the fact that it, you know, she's pregnant. She's on mm-hmm. the way to the hospital. Yeah. And, and, and we see you know, her death. There's a scene in the beginning where he, t- <coughs> excuse me, he takes out a car with a sniper rifle, mm-hmm. a la, like, you know, the, he's a tactical guy and, and dealing with the Vietnam... Um, yeah, serving in Vietnam in the original film and being like a sniper as well and being a marksman. So you see him take out a truck mm-hmm. and we, you know, we both kind of thought there was going to be that nice parallel of seeing Riggs take out this truck and then the, you know, she's almost driving the same type of vehicle yeah. and then her vehicle yeah. crashing at the same time yeah. back. Like it switches back and yeah, forth. They, you almost they, don't even yeah. know. It, it, they were happening basically at the same time, but uh, I critiqued like the parallel action wasn't very parallel. No, like, like uh, again, this is like me being like, oh, fine, it was a film, you know, yeah. but like the Riggs takes out the car from like, you know, it's a miracle shot, but of course it's Riggs, you know, Riggs is like a superhero in his own right. And he takes out the car, and it would have been really cool to see the car spinning. And when the when the car is done spinning, it's his wife's car, mm-hmm. and that might have thrown people off. To like, did he just shoot his wife? You know, but like, <laughs> <laughs> which have been really crazy. Um, you you want to get nuts? They're going bold, man. <laughs> but again, you do see. I mean, it's pretty horrific. You know, she's killed, and yeah. but the thing is, they don't. My biggest problem was immediately after that, Riggs is like super cocky and like fun loving. Yeah. And like you know, they do have like, that quick scene of him in his trailer, yeah. And he does, uh, you know, he spins the gun around, which I thought was it's a, a nice little touch, throwback to it. Uh, which, yeah, I, uh, I one, I made the comment like, oh, hey, that's an interesting way to show, you know, his, uh, <clears throat> uh, his uh, 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 dueling with the idea of like, do I kill myself today or do I, you know, live through another day? Yeah. Uh, and then like at the same time, I was like, oh yeah, the network probably said they that he couldn't put a gun in his mouth. So they had to come up with a you know a clever way to to, yeah. to show him struggle with it, uh, but like I, I I liked it, but then yeah he almost like had a completely different character and like there's there's some to you know people like masking stuff sure so that they don't have, you know so they're not showing their pain, but um but yeah it just it 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 was just another uh, way of throwing the character yeah like and it was it was it was almost like he was the same character that he was in the opening scene before his wife died sure and he's like you know having a good time like and again that seems to be a very deliberate thing they're doing with the series and that's fine i mean you know you know again you know we i think one of the things we liked in that beginning um kind of opening was it you know having the you know the fact that there's an unborn child you know murtaz had surgery you know mm-hmm. um he's got a heart thing and so like a little things like that like there's nice little touches to the to the mythos of yeah. lethal weapon, yeah, and clearly, clearly, uh, the this surgery that Murtaugh has recently had—I don't remember them explicitly saying what it was—but like he has, uh, you know, his like eye watch or whatever, yeah. constantly checking his heart rate. So clearly, it was something with his heart. Yeah, he's terrified of his heart going up, you know, above sure. like 120 beats, and it's ha- half the time that he's looking at it while he's working with Riggs. Yeah, it's like at 100. And there's like a couple things like they play off at once, and there's a couple things like he drives a. Like, a, a vehicle through like a window and like mm-hmm. slides through or something that shoots a bunch of guys. And, you know, you think that they, you know, they would play on the, the heartbeat thing a little more. Cause you know, I don't know, but anyway, yeah. you know, it just, uh, for me, you know, it moves, it moves so quick mm-hmm. with the relationship. Um, this, this, this payoff that, you know, would have worked better. Hey, you know uh, what? Murtaugh is too old to be waiting for, you know, <laughs> the slow build of a relationship. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> they do almost get it. They get away with almost saying you're too old for this shit, which is which is a nice touch. You know, you yeah, they kind of give there. it the the shaft treatment. Yeah. And uh I get it. I get it. You're too old for the hey. hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> but again, yeah, my, like I said, my biggest thing was 
was uh, and you know people could you know you could you could watch the original lethal weapon and say you know gibson's Riggs is is having fun with it too and he does have fun with it because uh, he does master a certain way but there's just uh i don't know that there, there wasn't as much as the tortured Riggs as i thought what do you think you about know? the bank scene you know other that, than it being weirdly yellow yeah that was something that when i saw that i saw that in the trailer that shot of him like hi i'm i'm your new partner like the explosion goes off and mm-hmm. i was like oh like that was the one thing i saw in the trailer. i was like no 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 like I, I didn't like that off the bat like him bringing pizza in like i don't know like he, it was like that was when i was like man he's so fucking cocky and having mm-hmm. fun with this yeah and again this is just that rigs like the way he mas- mask it like you know gibson rigs his thing is like you know in the director's cut, he he saves uh, he does like the he goes to the school shooting. There's like a sniper in the school and he does like the you know rigs instead of spin. the jumper or whatever. Yeah, well the jumper's later on. That's still on right. there. But he, uh, oh, okay. I think the first time you see him in the oh, original oh, the, one the is Coke? with the with the Christmas tree, yeah. the Christmas trees. And again, he's not doing lethal, you know the the Three Stooges thing. But I don't know. I thought there was just going to be a lot more of that relationship and that's part that's partly my fault going in being someone so attached to the originals because Mm -hmm. again that's just something that's so much about the originals and you kind of have to uh separate yourself from that Mm -hmm. and like there are like i said there's there's a dinner scene that i thought was pretty funny um with riggs and murtaugh um you know again they're they're keeping they're not making the kids as much of a part of it you know because again Mm -hmm. it's a tv show that's going to spread out over uh, you know a season yeah you know not two hours or whatever um but again it 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 has elements of that family vibe i was kind of hoping that they you know have the uh the garage under construction yeah right or you know uh or uh have a boat a boat yeah, (laughs) yeah yeah um but I don't know, you know, it's it it but the pro- like for me overall though, like the action sequences and everything was just it just screamed just bland cop show. Yeah. At at the end of the day. Yeah. <clears throat> um like you said it didn't need the lethal weapon title. I mean the lethal weapon title will probably you know It'll get it'll get it'll, it'll get people in the door like you and me. Yeah, it got us so we watched it because yeah. solely because it said lethal McG weapon. McG fooled us. Yeah, McG, <laughs> you son of a gun. <laughs> um but yeah, so fucking amateur. Fucking amateur. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I thought it would be fun just to uh, do a quick little uh, special bonus, guys like us on Dying Toilets, because Lethal Web is back in the news. Yeah, um, You know, I'll check out episode two and, and see what happens and, and maybe uh, check back in, you know, probably on the Geek Out show. Uh, would, would, would you geek out uh-huh. if they found a, a, a quick little cameo to give to either Mel Gibson or Danny Glover? Yeah. You know what? Also, I just realized no saxophone. Yeah, no saxophone it, no, at all. No. And again, maybe again, <laughs> and, they're instead, probably going instead there, like, of saxophone, it had the money ball, the money music. ball, the money <laughs> like the uh, the arpeggio slow guitar thing with the reverb and everything. Yeah. I like that that music cue, but they use it like at least two times. Yeah. Again, a couple of interesting moments here. You know, having uh, Murtaugh's partner become the captain was interesting. Mm-hmm. I remember you pointed that out right off the bat yeah. when that happened. I was like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. I, I yeah, I liked giving him uh, you know a relationship with the captain, mm-hmm. other than just he's the captain. Yeah. That's just the angry screaming guy. But again, you know, it's it's hard for us because we are so attached to the original. Mm-hmm. But there, they, like I said, there was some stuff there that I generally liked. I, we generally laughed at uh, some, especially some Murtaugh moments yeah. when he makes a if. a bad joke about uh, <laughs> Riggs's, you know, wife. We know that you know what happened to her being killed, and he immediately realizes no one's laughing, and he even says so much. <laughs> no he, one's no laughing. One's laughing. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. You know, Do you think um, what about um, uh, what the hell's his name? Joe Pesci. You think he's gonna? Oh, Leo gets uh, yeah, you, probably Yeah, not. you think they're going to have a I Leo mean, Getz? maybe. <laughs> maybe they'll throw him in there. Uh, Patton Oswalt plays Leo Getz. Oh, my God, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> you just have him. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I could see it. I could see it. But uh, Now that you say that, I want Oh, yeah, me too. Me too. With the bleached hair. And everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. You know, I actually, ch- I was, uh, I, I didn't want to read any reviews or anything going into this. Um but I, you know, while we were watching it, and I guess getting kind of a gist of what was going on, I checked some, some tweets and some, you know, some people out there really dug it. So, um, I mean, yeah, it's I, 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 I like you. I, I wouldn't. Uh, I'd, I'd be into uh, checking out episode two. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to jump in, you know, all in for you know the whole season. But um, when I when I you know check out a TV show, I do try to give it a couple episodes, just My- because like I've noticed like first five oh, episodes yeah. usually is just. Everyone trying to find the stride. You're right. My number is usually six. Yeah. You know, a lot of my favorite shows, it's the sixth episode mm-hmm. that either makes it or breaks it. Yeah. Um, and that, I think like that's a fair shot for a TV mm-hmm. show. No, you don't have to. If you don't, if you watch it and you're like, I'm done with this. Um, yeah. 
but we'll see. I mean, maybe they'll they'll add some more stuff. They'll you know, and I, look, I'm not looking for uh, it'd be fun, but I'm you know, I'm not necessarily looking for cameos in the saxophone. Mm-hmm. And you have to have it like this. You have to have it like that. Like I'm trying to stress diplomatic that. community. Yeah, um, I'm trying to try, you know trying to stress that with this episode and and be like, hey, you know, uh, you know, try to give it a, a fair shot here, um, and and see what they do on their own and make it their own kind of thing. And and there's definitely some some beats already that they've done that with. Mm-hmm. Um, some that I've liked and some that I wasn't a huge fan of, but. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll we'll check back, um, and and maybe you know we'll we'll discuss it on one of the geek out episodes here because um, we're busy with the uh, with other solo stuff right now. So mm-hmm. we had time to squeeze this in there and 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 bring it back for for a couple of minutes to talk about Lethal Weapon. It's always a good time to talk about Lethal Weapon. And uh, thanks for 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 watching it with me, Chris. Thank you for having me. Um, how did I used to end this? You, uh, you're you not going to die in a toilet, Chris. Is that how I ended this? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. You know what? I think like I'm the only one that didn't get that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Well, because the end of my episode yeah. was the return to you know uh, of everyone else. So. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I will. Where we, we, we cast uh, Death of Superman with Lethal Weapon yeah. actors. I will say um, you're going to be making an appearance on another solo one pretty soon. I will. Not not necessarily. It's not not quite. But we're getting there. Like a month away. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I think depending on the month and depending on how it works, mm-hmm. sometimes the kiss one is twice a month. Well, yeah, since we only have three solo shows now. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, um, thanks for listening, guys. Let us know what you think of the Lethal Weapon TV series. Um, if you're interested, if you've somehow stumbled across this and are like, what the fuck is this show? Go back and check out the uh, the first four where we go in detail for each movie if you, if you, if, if you feel like you uh, want to do that. Um, also, of course, check out the Geek Out mainstay, the main show, Catching Up, um, and Laser Dicks, which is Chris's wonderful Laser yeah. Disc show. And um, Sam, uh, and he's graceful enough to have me on as a co host for his um, Deconstructing the Beatles, uh, which we're coming up, wrapping up that soon. And Sam's got something else down the, down the, down the pipe that's uh, mm-hmm. going to be cool. Yeah, and uh, hopefully uh, soon you and I can start our Schwarzenegger show. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> um, Might have a special guest for that one, too. We got all kinds of stuff coming, yeah. man. But uh, it's going to be cool, man. And uh, again, thanks for listening, guys. Um, go out, watch Lethal Weapon. Just anything Lethal Weapon, watch yeah. it. So, Come over to my house. I have uh, the first three on Laserdisc. Oh, boy. You should do a Laserdisc episode and we'll uh, do another crossover. Maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe. Uh, the show just is. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> show, it just won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem with the with these shows we start musing out loud yeah <laughs> before i hit stop who knows yeah but uh anyway thanks for listening guys enjoy uh enjoy the first episode of lethal weapon and uh and watch some 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 of the movies so have a good one guys later bye this has been another geek out production if you enjoyed what you heard hey you know we've got a new commentary every monday we've got a special episode every friday of course there's the usual catching up show every wednesday and you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.